north of Bangkok. Second week of action at the Toyota Thailand Open this week. Three weeks of tournaments. Absolutely wonderful. So, we've had nine matches already. And just one more match to come here on day one of competition at this week's tournament. It's men's singles. It's the number three seed, Anna Zantonson, the World Championship silver medalist, up against a former champion, Tanon Sak Sing Sung Sak, who won the title here five years ago. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw, I can tell you this is the second quarter of the men's singles draw. And as with women's doubles and women's singles, uh, two former champions are next door to each other in the draw uh, because the winner of this match will play against Kidambi Shrikant, who won the title here in 2008. 13. It's very strange the way the so many draws have had players who have won this Thailand Open on previous occasions, either playing against each other or next door to each other within the draw. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Anders and Thompson from Denmark. Well, Anna Zantonsen, here he is. The world number three will be very keen to get a win under his belt uh, because he lost in the first round last week at the Yonex Thailand Open, lost to Darren Liu in two straight games. Liu then lost in the second round. And with three Danes, one, two and three on the race to the World Tour Finals next week and the fact that Rasmus Gimka is through to the second round. Uh, this man really needs to perform and really needs a win here because only two players from one nation are allowed at the World Tour Finals. Yep, he will be out if he's not winning this one for next week. And that's added on pressure. Yeah. So this is the third meeting Versus between these two players Sonia and that's ominous for Malaysia. Danish fans because the two previous encounters have both been won by Tanon Sak Sing Sung Boon Sak. But that said, the last time they played was in the first round of the Malaysian Open of 2018. 21-14, 21-15 in 44 minutes. And I think that Anna's Antonsen has improved considerably since then. He's 23 years of age, born in Aarhus, which is where my friend and colleague, Morton Frost, resides. Yes. And he is and playing off his career high, his third different spell, seven weeks in total before the rankings were frozen at his career high of three. Last year, he was in two finals from four tournaments, the Denmark Open, where he won, and the Indonesian Masters 500 event where he had been the defending champion. So number two on the race to the World Tour finals, but as we were just explaining, he could be overtaken and pushed out by another Dane. Tanon Saksin Sumbun Sak is 30 years of age now, born here in the Thai capital of Bangkok. Currently 39 in the world ranking, but did spend three weeks in total as world number nine. And one he is a former winner single. of a Super Series event, Lucy the Denmark Indian Open, back Yaoi in 2016. Beat Son Wan Ho in the final. Last uh, final for him was back in 2019 when he reached the Unlocked. Indonesia 100 event final but also reached the final of the USA 300 events in 2019 so our court officials for this one ready to play but then Horenbeck from Belgium the umpire and Wayana from Indonesia the service judge 
Well, to unsack the left-hander, like his opponent, lost in the first round last week, lost in the number two seed, Chu Tianchen, in three games. Now, when he won this title back in 2016, he beat Sonny Dui Kunchoro in the final. Yep, I remember. I was here. It looks quite a straightforward match for Anas and Thompson, but I can assure you it's not. I also think that uh, Sensen Bunsuk played quite well last week against uh, Zhou Chen Chen, and his net play is going to be the key. If his net play is working uh, for Sensen Bunsuk, it can spell a lot of trouble for Antonsen. The key is the net play. Yeah. And it's interesting, I don't know if you saw the interview with Anas Antonsen after his first round loss last week and he said, well, he was surprised by the lack of his own performance. He wasn't surprised by Darren Liu because he knew that Darren right, could play yes. very well. Denmark. But of course, this man did have COVID-19 in December, Thailand. was diagnosed on the 5th of December. So one wonders how much that has actually Before. taken out of him, and he didn't really realise yeah, how much. Without knowing. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and if you add that on to, let's say, the, the weakest part of Anas's game is, is for sure his, his physical ability. So if you add the COVID-19 on to that, maybe he was a little bit surprised. And if you are a fan of the Danish player, then uh, that could maybe spell some concerns. Yeah, that's nice, though. So it's over. One all. Okay, so you say that Antonsen has weakness in his physical capabilities. Uh, tell us about his strengths, though. I, I think he's a, he's a good competitor. He, he's um, very seldom getting nervous. Uh, he plays um, a good, solid game. When he can see the light at the end of the tunnel, he's getting very Whoa. dangerous. He's, he's good in anticipating. He's, he's good around his game plan. Um, so he, he's got many good things going for him. But Three, uh, one. I, I, I really think that sometimes, you know, if he's uh, up against uh, tough opponents, uh, long matches, it is hammering his performance in the long run in the tournament. So it's not in a particular match. It's when you have to deal with tough match after tough match yes. after tough match. Yes. And perhaps an explanation as to why in the World Championship final against Kento Momota, it yeah, was 21-9, 21-3. had nothing two, left. Two, no. two, three. I don't think we've ever seen a World Championship final so one-sided in any discipline, have we? No. No. Especially when you consider that he was 6-2 up in the first game. <laughs> yeah. It happened at the China Open Super 1000 as well in 2019. In the four, first two. game, there was one long rally. I, I don't know whether he lost or won it. However, after that, it was game over. Five, two. Well, I know we keep saying that he's uh, the young player and all that. He's 23 now, but he will turn 24 in April. 
mm. and that in my book is not considered young no. so um so he uh, i i actually think he needs to step up now and start uh, winning tournaments Six, i know he won two. the denmark open 750 in october but in all fairness competition not that tough no. um so uh, apart from that uh, he's only got uh, 10 tournaments in total to his name and uh, 10 titles you mean. 10 titles yes yeah. sorry yeah and seven of them are before two thousand and seventeen and in the old uh, super series system. So in all fairness, I uh, like to see him step up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I suppose sometimes, especially with men's singles, that there's sort of a feeling as I'm young I've got plenty of time and physically I don't think junior male players develop into strong physical specimens until a later age than uh, the women develop into strong uh, physical specimens and therefore they you know mm, yeah look at know, that one that's a good defense yeah, isn't lucky it? A lucky little, one a little bit lucky yeah Yeah. But I agree with you. Yeah. On your um analysis of it. I remember a few years ago Momota saying I've got to, I've got to start winning things. Eight, it's tough in three. senior badminton, but it's time I started winning. And yeah. look what happened since. Yeah. One one thing is saying it, another thing is doing it. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. But it, it's it's the the mental aspect. To yes, yes. You haven't got time time on your side as you think no, you have. No, I, I agree with you. And look how we've we've just lost a year basically of oh. of sport globally, yeah. all sports, Nine, not just us three. in badminton. And then an injury, and you know anything yeah. can happen. Yeah. But this is a very comfortable lead, isn't it? Yes. Ten, three. Oh, oh my goodness. Completely missed it. Eleven, three, interval. So? An eight-point advantage for the number three seed. 11-3, the scoreline. Yeah, always very embarrassing when that happens in badminton. It's not like tennis when you can claim it was a bad bounce. <laughs> Den mest vigtige det er din arm, den bliver ved med at stå herude, således at du fratager ham tid til at lave noget som helst. Mm. Han har sko den der, spiller ind til sidst, og så der, spiller den ind i vinden. Så, 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 så slår han ind, fordi der er sådan. Skål på bolden, 20 sekunder. Hold skål på bolden, 20 sekunder. Jeg længer mig til mig, der er den. Op! Op! Høj! Nu kan få den på indbordet, men der lår der den igen. So Kenneth Jonasson, the coach for the day, former finalist here himself. Three. Back in 2005. Late. I'm guessing most of the tactics were probably discussed beforehand and it's yeah. been so one-sided so far. There probably wasn't an awful lot to say, was there? I could, couldn't agree with you more. That's exactly what happened. Wide. So what do you do if you're seeing some boon suck? Three. Do you try and change tactics or do you just try and play some long rallies to play yourself into the match or what do you do? Exactly. The latter one of them. Yeah. He's got to get into it uh, somehow. The the swing and the miss he had at 11 is also a sign of he's not really completely settling on court. Mm. So yes, I think it's, it's, it's about seeing whether 13, he can get some long rallies. Three. 
um, and, and really work his way back into this match. Yeah. And it's going to be important that he will do it in, in this opening game because if it's, let's say, 21-7, it's difficult yes. to, to get back after such a loss. Yeah, brilliantly constructed. The little hold and flick down into Tenonsa's forehand corner. That one set up the opportunity, opened up the court. And there was a big, big gap down the left-hander's backhand side. But that was well found by Antonsen. That's wide. Zero, zero, five, four, well, it had been eight straight points. Yeah, the thing is that uh, Sensen Bunzo is, is not gaining anything from attacking the body of Antonsen. Antonsen too strong in his defence body-wise. In the flat play, he's too strong, it looks like, for the time being. And at the same time, he's not moving his opponent. So when he's got these attacking chances, he's must try to go for the lines and go for the angles and, and really try to put some pressure on. Just going down the centre is making no difference. Oh, nice net shot. Yeah. Well, Antonsen decided to guess. He guessed incorrectly. Oh yes, that's great control because he's hitting with the drift is Antonsen and that was just inside the back line. Ah, oh, that's an amazing get. Yeah. 17-6. It looked almost like he left it. Now, I noticed he had a bit of a graze already on his right elbow, and I think he's probably... <laughs> done it even worse. Well, yes, probably just shifted the scab a little bit. Given the way that the left-hander played last week against Chorty and Chen, I'm a little bit disappointed so far in this match. Yes, I had expected a, a harder fight. Seven, um, maybe we will get in the second game, I don't know. But uh, so far, I couldn't agree with you more. Slightly disappointing. Had expected a, a harder fight. Mm. Two points from the opening game.
been Zero enough of that so far. Eight, nine, That's nine. a delightful it. shot. It is, but look at two smashes to the sideline. First one side, then the next. And it, rather than going down the centre is what he's chosen so far. That is working so much better. Well taken. Yeah. And it's game point opportunities. Game point Closing the net eight. down very nicely. So the opening game to the number three seed, Alice Antonson. Umpire confirming that scoreline of 21-8. And a fraction under 14 minutes. Totally one-sided opening game. Spill it out. Der kommer lidt mere sus i hans angreb, han har lidt, øh, ja, lidt, lidt med ved nu. Skal ikke have lov at spille øh, net for et kort løft, Nej. så det er vigtigt, at jeg er der. der. Men det samme der, at på hans første smash, jamen, så skal den der nogenlunde samme sted ind. Ja. Han, der kommer lidt mere bid i dem der, han, og selvfølgelig kan han også spille det i en bagbane. Men altså, det er svært at spille en god bagbane langt udefra, altså efter din def. Ja. Alt andet lige så fra til at sige, at det er nok ender i den efter. Okay? Ja, ja, det er helt ja. Det er nok kun for at lege det. Okay? Ja, det er sammen. Lån så op, lån de, de kan samle ikke med dig. Ikke nok par eller hvad det er. De er nok helt mange. Så de er kun nok helt op og ned. Kan I? Okay? Ja, sammen ja, nu. Kan du ikke gøre det? Kan du ikke gøre det? Altså på den ja, der. På den tør, ja. Ja. Second game, Lovell, play. Well, for send some Boonsuck fans, they will be pleased that at least at the end of that opening game, he seemed to be timing his smashes a little better. That's why. And I assume Coach Jonasson noticed that as well, did he? Um, he did, and um, they were discussing that Sensen Bunsuk would probably have a little bit more firing power from uh, that end of the court. And the next thing he also said, and Anas also said, was, I have to watch out for his net play. Yeah. So I'm not lifting too short. Mm. Too low. a good smash Three, the no. left hip of the left hander mm, actually got his left hip didn't he spot on that's oh, right yeah. yeah take him with the drift so zero for one three Very positive on the return of serve, wasn't it? 
Yeah, he was almost Four jumping one. the service. We say move before the server struck. But it's up to the umpire to decide that. Service over. Two, four. And that's what uh, Jonas and Nansen were talking about Reserve at the interval. Five, two. To move forward and look at how close he's standing to the net and intercepting there so quickly and adding on the pressure. Oh yes, sacrificed power Six, for placement. Two wasn't the hardest of smashes, but my goodness, it was accurate. Seven, two. I can hardly remember since Mbunzu getting one of the uh, smashes back from Antonsen. It's, it's almost straight winners every single time. Eight, two. Yeah, there's another. Yep. It's a shame for Sing Sung Bun Suk because Nine he played two. so well last week against Chow Tien Chen. And yep. this is a match that I was looking forward to, but it's totally one sided at the moment. Yep. I also think that Antonsen had a wake up call last week. Mm. And that's probably also you know, part of the uh, situation. Two. Yeah. Do you think he underestimated Darren Liu then going into the match? What do you uh, mean a, a wake-up call? The fact that that you have to be ready from love all play first game. And there's Anderson challenges called oh! out. Yeah, the first challenge of this. And match. there was a, a match at the Danish Nationals uh, where he uh, he lost. Uh, one of the opening matches to one of the very very it was one of the juniors in the nationals he lost to one challenge of the juniors successful. Uh, because he one was just uh, oh, this will be fine no problem i can do it and i can always turn it on if i need to and suddenly Three, he couldn't ten. yeah late so it's it has been seen before Was it a Ten. youngster called Mortensen or something? I'm struggling. I can find the name, but uh, I'm struggling a bit. I think his name is Matthias. It's one of the youngsters that's trying to break onto the scene. He's playing uh, international challenges and international series tournaments. And he's from Olbo. Magnus Johannesson. Magnus, yes. Yeah, exactly. So, once again, like the opening game, it's a very handsome lead for Anna Zantensen. 11-4 this time. It was 11-3 in the opening game. Mm. Yeah. Altså, han må lige med den sidste der også. Han må forvente, at han prøver at gå ultrapressen i hjørnerne, eller bare helt kort net. En af det, ikke? 
Isn't your hand left-hand? Yes, he is. Yeah. He is a left-hander. Youngster. Yeah. Not very tall, but uh, nice skills. Good. So, Kenny Jonasson, talking something about the focus. What was he saying? Um, Seven, four. He was just warning uh, Anas to say he must do something, either going for the big smashes or going so extremely tight to the net or try something. Um, so just expect, you know, whatever. Sack, yeah, that was definitely more like it. Playing to what we know he can. But is it too little, too late? Only time will tell. Well, Antonsen walked tiny, away it's a one -arm, so. because he felt that his opponent was taking too long. Tanonsa then served and served out, but he gets to serve again because Antonsen said he wasn't ready. So even though it was a service error, it's not counted. Oh, that's landed in. Got to think about the drift. Five. Over 6-12. No doubt Jonasson was right. He's got to do something. And he's played definitely by far the best in the match. Uh, the last three points. That's a lovely block. There's over 13 6. But I'm surprised by that smash from Tanonsak. Smashing straight at his opponent. Yeah, it's got no effect. No. Why isn't he trying to use the angles? Maybe he hasn't noticed. I don't know. 14 <laughs> 6. Maybe it's a half a shot. I guess correctly, but he still can deal 15, with it. 15, 6. Observer, 7, 15. Tried to be a little <laughs> too cute there, Antonson, <laughs> didn't he? This one. Yeah. Got punished for it. Yeah. Serves over. 16-7.
going wide. Oh, yeah. he's taken it. Yeah, he did. Short. Yeah. 17 7. Oh, that's going wide. They reserve for 8.17. Well, there's no question who's going to win this match, barring a tragic injury or something. Reserve for 18.8. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. And the match just seems to be finishing double quick time. Played 30 minutes now. 19 eight. Two points away potentially from the end of the match. Yeah. Match point match opportunities. Point eight. Yeah. Well, if this ends to eight, then three of our matches today have ended with the two games in symmetry scoreline yeah. Yeah, indeed it has 21-8 21-8 Manor Zantensen the number three seed Match after his first round Anders defeat Anderson. last week has stormed back and eight. totally outclassed his opponent today well that's disappointing from Tanon Sack I was so looking forward to this match, Morton. Yes, when I saw the draw, I thought this is going to be a good match and it's going to be difficult for Antonsen. However, as we saw, 8-8 eight and eight is definitely not difficult. No. Well, I'm sure he'll be happy with that, having departed in round one last week. So he takes leave of centre stage and a chance for us to recap on what's happened today. And it all started at nine o'clock this morning with the World Championship silver medalists and winners last week, Pua Varanukro and Teira Tanachai. Two good for Tabalin and Peak. Two straight games there. Tai Su Ying, the world number one. She lost in the final on Sunday, but she was fantastic today. Under 30 minutes against Kei Tong, the left-handed Thai player. Then the former champion of the 2013 winner, also a former world number one, Kadambi Shrikant, who had to pull out last week with an injury. Well, he beat Tamasin 21-11, 21-11. Then Vivian Hu and Yap Chen Wen of Malaysia beat the English pair. The European Games uh, uh, gold medalist is uh, Lauren Smith playing with uh, Chloe Birch. That was two straight games as well, 14 and 14. Then we had a men's doubles, which I had as the pick of the day for matches, intriguing uh, matches. And Govi Shem and Tamwi Kiong, the Olympic silver medalist and beaten finalists last week against Lee Yong Day, who's won three Thai Open titles, playing with Kim Ji Jun. But sadly, at 6-2 in the opening game, Lee Yong Day pulled a calf muscle and had to pull out of uh, the match. So only four minutes played. So to the next match, which was also men's doubles, and the 2019 All England finalists, Aaron Cha and So We Eek, uh, beating young new tiny, uh, Thai pair in two straight games. Then it was mixed doubles and the Olympic silver medalist Chan Ping Soon and Go Liu Ying, obviously still struggling with her back injury, but they managed to beat Janssen and Ostermeyer. Then it was women's singles and two formal world number ones and two former champions. In fact, they played each other in the 2012 final. But unlike that final in 2012, Ratchnuk Intanon got the better of Saina Nawal today. 21-17, 21-8, very one-sided second game. And then uh, the only match today that went the full distance was women's doubles and Gracia Bolli 
and Apriani Rahayu, three times winners of a tournament here at the Thai Open. A winners on Sunday, of course. They needed three games to beat Super Jirakun and Teirat Tanachai, the 2016 winners of the Thailand Open. 21-8 in the deciding game. And as we've just seen in the men's singles, the number three seed, the World Championship silver medalist, Anna's Antonsen beating a former champion, the 2016 winner, Tanon Sak Seng Sun Boon Sak, in just uh, 31 minutes, 21-8, 21-8. So, of course, that's it for today. More first round action tomorrow, same time as today. That's 9 a.m. local time, 0200 GMT. From Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Come here for the dust. Have a blessed day.